Okay, we're recording. So uh, this is part three of um, of the live com well the uh, recorded commentary for uh, uh, the uh, semifinals for the USCL uh, Chicago Blaze versus the Los Angeles Vibe. Uh, this is Jay again with uh, Fide Master Albert Chow. So um, we had some uh, uh, interesting developments since the last time that we talked. Yeah, well, the board one game was agreed drawn, which puts uh, the pressure on the remaining three boards. Uh, a drawn match would favor the Blaze, but uh, on board four, which is not on our screen at the moment, uh, the Blaze player has uh, lost the exchange, his exchange behind. Right. He has some compensation for the exchange. He does, but um, um, the computers are saying that it's, it's still, you know... It's well, still typical of a computer great. that, of course, it likes to have the winning position materially, but you have to have a plan in order to win it, and... Um, White has yet to find that plan, so that's absolutely true. I, I'm, right. I'm just basically trying to be optimistic uh, in an exchange down position. Right. That if, if you're going to be down the exchange, that's not the worst position to have. Uh, he has some compensation. Definitely. Now, so to counterbalance that, um, the remaining two games, uh, Josh Fidel's game on board two, I think that Black has got a slightly better position. Maybe it's clearly better. Um, those two center pawns are, are still very strong and. Black's uh, constantly threatening to push his e5 pawn up to e4, mm -hmm. which White has to be on the alert for. Meanwhile, the Black Knight uh, could start to maneuver around, and uh, White has to be very careful his uh, king side doesn't become weakened. So I, I like Black's position in the Friedel game, but uh, it's it's not uh, it's not over by any means. White has a defensible position; could be a draw. Um, the most unclear game is definitely board uh, three between. Gurvich and Tata, and this is almost what I expected, that uh, she's a, a sharp attacking player, she played the King's Indian. Gurvich um, likes an uh, unclear maneuvering game, and he has he has the two-bishop uh, potential, and um, there's a lot of tension in that game. I, I think all three results are possible in board three game, um, but if I had to bet my money on it, I still would bet on Gurvich, because he is very, very skilled in uh, delaying the tension until the time control. So, uh, although Tatev is a very good blitz player, so I think that's you'll see the most excitement on board three. Um, I'm looking for Josh Friedel on board two to put steady pressure on his opponent to equalize in case uh, Sam Schmeichel were somehow to lose. And um, I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked if Schmeichel held a draw there. Uh, I think White has been not been playing the best since he won the exchange, mm -hmm. but. If if we lose the Schmeichel game, we need a we need a win on one of the other two boards to equalize the match. I'd say there's I'd say there's a I'd say we're, we're probably about a forty percent chance of drawing a win in the match at this point. Okay. Um. But I think there is a there's a there is a chance that if Schmeichel loses, that we could lose the match. I think everything will, will be decided on board, actually on board three in the Gurvich mm -hmm. game. Yeah. If Gurvich can win, the Blaze are in great shape. Um, if he only draws that, that puts a lot of pressure on boards two and four. Excellent. Well, thank you. Um, we're going to do one more. After uh, after this video uploads, we're going to um, come back out and start talking about uh, the thing. By then, we probably have uh, another, um, another uh, result. Yeah, and, I'm sorry uh, if I'm not a strong enough player to give a good evaluation of that Gurvich position. No, uh, which I, looks I don't, very unclear to it me. It doesn't seem like anybody online is able to give a good representation it's of that. It's unclear to that, me. That yeah, it's, really, it's very confusing for pretty much everybody online. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, uh, honestly, though, I think uh, we're doing pretty well in terms of, like, uh, you know, talking about the thing. Honestly, what I, you know, I'm not really expecting a whole lot of these things. I'm still recording. <laughs> but uh, um, what I want is to just, you know, have us... Uh, have a, have a way to communicate with fans who may not be on ICC, or even if they are on ICC, to be able to have some kind of sure. Well, I mean, the game. I just I would like to say, um, considering these are some of the best players in the country, mm -hmm. this is a championship semifinal game of Internet Chess League. So uh, you would not expect the games to be easy. Yeah. You wouldn't expect to see one player dominating another or one team dominating another. And even though uh, the Blaze did beat the Vibe in the regular season, mm -hmm. as everybody knows in most sports, including chess, uh, the playoffs are a different picture, mm -hmm. and That's everybody's going to bring their A game in the playoffs. So, they can still, they can still hear us, I guess. So we're going to stop, and then we're going to go ahead.